extremism of our age. And, you know, we've been talking over the past six months about how the refugee crisis in Europe is unrivaled uh, since any time since 45, 46, 47 after World War II. Uh, and the United States and the world responded with a Marshall Plan then. Uh, it sounds like you believe, and a lot of other right-thinking people believe, we might need to do the same thing again now. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a great fan of, uh, uh, of America, the America of big ideas. America itself is a big idea. <laughs> and, and I think you are more American when you show that strength um, and smartness. And, and yeah, very s the smart money is on doing something extraordinary now. I think business as usual, we know how that's going to work out, and it's not going to be good. And um, we need some big thinking. And, and of course, it's easy for me to say that um, I, I know the American taxpayer is really hurting at the moment, and the same in Europe. But I think between Europe and America, there is a consensus building that, you know, the, the, the corruption that's killing as, as many kids as disease can be dealt with by structuring these concessional loans on the conditions that, um, that these countries that we give them to reform. Um, this new kind of club of countries, uh, to get into it, people will have to go through some hoops that we want them to go through. And I think it will be very good for us in the way that uh, the Marshall Plan turned out very well for America mm -hmm. uh, in the end. I think it, it will again if, if something like that is deployed uh, on the Levant uh, and the Sahel.